Hello and welcome to my notes video. So we're going to be covering 7.6, practice 7.6.13. So starting with the warm up, um, select all of the inequalities that are true if x equals to 4. So um, we plug in 4 to x in, all, in each of these inequalities. So first, does is 4 less than 2? Nope. Is 4 less than 10? Yes. Is 4 less than 4? No. If this was less than or equals to, then it is equal to 4, but it's not less, so no. Is it greater than or equal to? Yes, because it can be equal. Is it less, is it greater than or equal to 8? Nope, because it's less than 8. Number line graph. For the following problems, you'll use, so this is just sort of something, this just shows you how to use it. So for this, I like greater than, so we'll do this. And when this is filled in, it means that it includes hundred and when it when it's not when it's not filled it means that it's less so uh, yeah and then sliding changes the point of that use the number line graph to show the solution set for X is greater than or equal to 5 so we go to the point 5 first then it's e greater than or e less than or equals to so it's included and then it X is less than or equal to so X can be X can go downward from 5 Use the number line graph, so the solution set um, of x equals 5 halves, which is 2 and a half. So first, so 2 and a half is right, yeah, that's 3, so that's 2 and a half. Not included and is less. Here we go. Use the number line graph for x is greater than or equal to minus 6.5. So we first go to minus 6.5 right there, and then uh, greater than. And also, it's included because it's greater than or equals to. Write the inequality represented by the graph. So, the point is minus 5. Uh, well, then we have to write it. So, it is goes up, so it's greater than or equals, and it's or equals to because it's included. So, here, so we go x is greater than, greater than or equals to, and then it's at minus 5. Problem 2, 2. So we're at the inequality. So we're at 10, not included, and goes down. So less than. So x is less, less, nope, less than, and not included, not equals to um, 10. Problem 3, 1. So here are two stories, 0 0.99. So I have to, okay. This year's freshman class is 10% smaller than last. But during the first event, the first week of classes, 20 more students joined. There are now 830. Versus a store reduces the price of a computer by $20. Then during a 10% off sale, a customer pays uh, 830. During a 10% off sale. Not, there's no reduction here. It would be so this would be subtraction, so and also it would be t times this already subtracted twenty dollars because first you have you have you know x and then minus twenty because if x is the original price then it's going to be x minus twenty because reduced then afterward it's zero point nine times that and that's not here because zero point nine is not there's there's no parentheses. If there are parentheses here, then it would be correct. And x, but even so, x that's not the right thing. So you need a you need a different sign, and you need parentheses for story B. So it's definitely story A. Problem three two. Here are two stories, which is represented by zero point nine. Okay, so now we have this exact. So this is exactly what I was explaining. So now it's zero. It's ten percent off the original price re reduced by $20, so it's story B. Explain why one equation has parentheses and the other doesn't. So I'm just going to sort of write what I said. So for the first one, it's 10% smaller, but during the first week, 20 more students join. So yeah, so one, so we're going to say for story B, my computer, my key is broken. For story B, uh, the the computer 
choice is reduced first, then the sale is made, happens to the reduced price. To the, well, to the previously price. Okay, solve each equation. Okay, so this is very easy. What I will just do is I'll write the equation over here and then do it step by step. It's so like simplify it step by step. So then we subtract 20. So on one side we have 8, 10. And on the other side we have that 0.9x is equal to 8, 10. So I know that this is 9 times 9. So if, if, nine, times, if 9 times 9 is 0 0.9 times, then 9 times 10 is going to be 1x. And we don't use, so it's asking us what the value of x is going to be, so we can delete that part. Here, okay, so 0 0.9, um, or, or we can divide by 0 0.9, so over 0 0.9, and then we can get rid of these parentheses. And then we add this, so x, so to, to delete that and add 20. But yeah, so now we can delete this and it'll calculate it for us, I believe. See, yeah, it'll calculate for us. What did each solution tell you about the story? For A, uh, this freshman class is 10%. So now there are 830 students. So we calculate, we went back in time. First, we took out the 20 students that just joined and then com and this class compared to last year. So this is last year's class. For A, there were 900 students in last year's freshman class. For B, okay, so here we're also going back in time. So first, we took off, took away the sale, the most recent sale. Then we added back the twenty dollars from when it was so back to full price. So for B, the full price of the computer is nine hundred, is nine forty-two point two, comma. Okay, also I've done this already. It's, it's very, this is part that's just very mon not monotonous because you just are comparing, does, is 100 greater than, is 100 less than 25? True. Is minus 100 less than 25? True. Is minus, is zero less than 25? True. And you just did that for all of them. So these are my answers. And I've checked. Everything is correct. Perfect. So I'm proud. Proud of uh, doing a good job. Smiley face. Uh, thanks for lis for listening, watching my notes. Um, good night, ladies and gentlemen.